Hello Booktube and welcome back to Hours in My Library and today you're getting a twofer, not two four, two for one. Um, it's mainly because it is the illustrator of these two books. These are not uh, rare books by any, well I don't really have any actually rare books myself, but um, these are, were cheaper editions of the original ones. Well, I'll just show them. Um, it's The Complete Angler and The Natural History of Selburn. Um, they have nice decorative spines. They have been darkened through time. And they also have nice uh, designs on the front boards as well. Now, they were both published by the Bodley Head. And in 18, well, the first one was 1897. Uh, that's the Natural History of Selburn. Uh, the illustrator was commissioned to illustrate both these books. His full name is uh, Edmund Hort New, or as he is here, illustrated by Edmund H. New. And it's N-E-W. There's no date on these. This says 1897 uh, for when it was originally done. But when I look at the first edition, it is quite different. So this is a later printing, uh, I suspect, the cheaper um, edition of the original one. But there is no date on it. It just says here, it says, uh, in commemoration, 1898, this edition is dedicated to the publisher. And they're just wonderfully illustrated. At the beginning of each uh, each letter as well. Just absolutely gorgeous. And it's, uh, yeah, this is uh, the Natural History of Selburn by Gilbert White. It's edited with notes by Grant Allen. And... Gilbert White, I had to write down here because I'm not going to remember, lived from 1720 to 1793. And uh, these are, it's sort of the na um, natural history and ant antiquities of Selburn. And they are letters uh, to a zoologist describing um, the flora, fauna, uh, biology, uh, antiquities of the area. And... Uh, they are wonderful. They've been in print forever, I think. I think they're still in print. And um, it's the same as the next one, which was an earlier book. Uh, in reality, it was. Uh, it's by Isaac Walton and, uh, well, Charles Cotton, because this is the complete uh, angler, it's called. The Complete Angler. And again, it's nicely... <coughs> excuse me. Um, illustrated on the spine and on the front. Again, a later printing by uh, the Bodley Head. But there's Stafford. And just wonderful drawings again by New. And this here, um, Isaac Walton uh, lived from... 1593 to 1683, and this one was commissioned in 1898 uh, for uh, the illustrator to do, uh, to illustrate. And it's a collection of uh, prose and poetry verse about fishing in all its shapes and forms, um, even uh, making flies. Uh, it's been in print uh, for, again, the same always in print and there's a couple connections here which is kind of interesting because uh edmund new uh illustrated dozens of books and one of them was uh, um um uh, a poet that i that i enjoyed which I, he's completely escaped my mind now so never mind that but the Complete Angler uh, was uh, re-edited and sort of similar essays 
written by Andrew Lang, who I really enjoy as an essayist and a poet. Uh, I do not have this volume, his his uh, edited uh, angler, nor his his book on fishing uh, with his essays as well. But anyway, there you go. These are nice editions. Uh, there's an a, there's an inscription in one that says 1920. Nine, I think it is. Uh, Mother with uh, love from Alan, July twenty seventh, nineteen twenty nine. And so these are later reprints of the original that was done in eighty seven and uh, eighteen eighty seven and eighteen um, ninety eight. But uh, but yeah, if they're books that you're not familiar with, they're well worth being familiar with. Uh, they are short uh, pieces generally. Uh, and very enjoyable. Thank you, BookTube.